Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Tales of Fantasia, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I decided to go back to Hamel to get some more shopping and possibly some more pickaxes and ropes, though it doesn't seem like I even consumed any for some reason. Sword Rain's now 9%, but the uh, Lightning Tiger Blade has now been mastered. Still, in the event I do learn any new secret skills that are associated with Lightning Tiger Blade, I'm good to go. And I also picked up a new piece of equipment for Mint, the Cleric's hel Helmet, or Cleric's Hat, I think that's what it's called. Either way, it's going to be better for her. So now let us press onward to this part. Where it can be very nightmarish, let me tell you. Okay, just a sim simple bunch of gas, it's no big deal. But there is another enemy you'll come across in this specific area that you don't want to fight. In fact, it's highly recommended you do not fight, because you will probably die. I did it. So, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But for now, let's see what's over this way. Okay, there's a miasma hole over here. And an emerald ring. Okay, what does the emerald ring do? Let's find out. Reduces TP consumption by one-third? Sign me up. For somebody like Cress, he needs something like this. A lot. Eh, 10% chance of nullifying damage is not that valuable. I brought this something that has a 100% chance of increasing my evasion. So this seems like a little puzzle here. The first boulder I saw, you think you can actually make it work to plug that hole. But no, you're probably gonna need this one. And I made sure I loaded up on some orange gels as well. Especially if I'm going to keep using that TP. Will it actually update how much each skill requires now? Oh, somebody leveled up. Let's check. Eight. Okay, it actually did update it automatically. Rather than just calculating it in battle, it's just going to calculate it overall. Which is good. Makes it easier for me to keep track of. Okay, that's one hole plugged. Now let's deal with the second. Okay, still a trio of guests. Okay. There, this is much better than consuming like ten. I think if I got another rune bottle, I should probably use it on the emerald ring instead. So I believe it'll make it even better. If that's the case, let's wait till we get another rune bottle. Maybe I already have one. If I already got a rune bottle, I think I should do it. Nah, I'll probably wait till later. Okay, where is the other hole? You know, when I said, where's the other hole, a lot of people are, are thinking that's what he said. That can be taken so many different ways, I know. I'm aware of that. I caught it midway. So, let's find out where that other hole is. I might want to use a holy bottle, just to simplify things. There. That should slow the encounter rate down. Ah, there's the other hole. So I gotta take this boulder and bring it all the way over here. That's not a short trick. Oh, Hellmaster! That's the new enemy! Do not fight this enemy! In fact, you can absorb it, I mean, with the magic lens, but get the hell out of there. No pun intended. 4700 HP! 2,500? Yep, just go. You don't want to fight this thing. It will annihilate you with a thought. And I'm not exaggerating either. I think it has a powerful spell called Lich, and it can destroy you. That's the last of the Miasma. In fact, I think everything should be back to normal now. 
there's another treasure around here. I might want to get that. No, it's probably not in this place. But I think there was a talisman you can get in this dungeon. But it's probably in one of those places where the sylphs were originally blocking. I think by clearing all this, the uh, winds that hurt you should be gone as well. Heck, we can finally get to this treasure. Ah, it's a rune bottle. Okay, that's cool. Okay. That should take care of the miasma streaming into our world. Now let's go meet Sylph. Bart said we find her across the rope bridge that lies further on. Let's go. Oh yeah, we were already at that rope bridge. Now we can do something about it. We can get a charm bottle. Okay, I'm pretty sure there was, like, a talisman you can get over there. Maybe that was the emerald ring that I picked up. Yeah. Never mind. I was thinking of something else. But we did pick up something around that dark area, so we're good. Okay, I gotta stop embarrassing myself. That's better. Now let's just kick some harpy ass. I did it. Oh yeah. No, don't go in the cave. We want to go this way. Okay, so Syl should be across the duo of rope bridges. Just in case, it might be a good idea to keep ourselves fully healed. Some orange shells be good as well, especially for Cress. In fact, only for Cress. Alright, are we gonna have a boss battle or something? Oh, hi, what's up? So, you're the ones who cleared the miasma for us. I'd like to make a pact with you, Wind Spirit, in accordance with the command of the Ancient Ring. I shall help you, but there is one thing I must first request. Now this is unusual. A spirit requesting something from a human? Yes. Even if we make a pact, it will soon all be in vain if you don't act now. That much I am sure of. I don't understand. Please explain. Magic, the source of our power is fading from this world. Without it, both spirits and the magic arts will be lost forever. What? But why? Go see the great tree, Yggdrasil, which grows in the forest of spirits. With this, you'll be able to speak with the spirit that dwells within. The spirit may be able to tell you what must be done. Okay. Let's go. Oh wait! There's something we wanted to ask. Did you ever cr come across a young girl lost here in this valley? Please try to remember. You are the only ones to visit our valley in the past few months. Sorry, but I haven't seen anyone else. I see. Let us make a pact. Please ready the opal ring. Oh, I guess we won't be having a boss battle. I beseech you, great wind spirit. Submit to me as decreed by the covenant of this ring. My name is Klaus. That Klaus should be able to summon Sylph in battle. There we go. Now he can actually be useful in battle aside from just hitting people with books. He can now use magic. The elemental orb. And he gained the title of Tamer. <laughs> nice. Good job, Klaus. In fact, you earned this title. Lucky man. Yeah, I prefer Tamer. Okay, so Sylph, of course, is going to do wind damage and requires 8 TP to use. A bit annoying that it has to come to that, but okay. Yeah, make sure you remember that. I don't want you not casting any spells. So what does this elemental orb do, anyway? That's probably just for making a pact. Fair enough. 
Alright, let's go. So I think what we should do is get out of here, because there's nothing else for us to do. So, the best way to go to the forest is to go south of Belladem. So, I shall meet you there. Or maybe we should stop over to Bart's for a visit. And just let him know that Archie's not here. She was never in the Lone Valley, apparently. Let's go pay a visit to him. And Whoa! He looks like he's gonna visit us! Looks like you did it! The wind's back to normal! Yeah. And? There is no sign of your daughter in the valley. We even questioned a spirit that regained her senses, but... I see. Where could Archie have gone? Please hang in there! We'll go ask about your daughter in the town we're heading to next. Thank you. Okay. Let's make for that forest of spirits Sylph mentioned. It was south of Belladum Village, wasn't it? Yep. Alright, well first we're gonna go rest, because that would be the smart thing to do, even though we kinda use those items for no reason. Thought it would be necessary, but apparently there was no boss battle. So we kind of healed up for no reason. Oh well, all we gotta do is head south. I guess I can make a pit stop in Euclid, just to pick some pick up some groceries. Nancy's left me, but she's gone after the one she loves. I couldn't stop her because I want her to be happy. I am her mother after all. Well. Since I helped your daughter, can I get a discount of, say, 100%? Man, 90 dollars for a cucumber? You better use that cucumber for something awesome. We got lots of cheese, apparently. Uh, guess what I... Oh, you gonna, you gonna go through this diatribe again? Yes, we know. You're the mother. Stop bragging about it. I should get rid of this, and this. And these two. Okay, that should free up some inventory space for now. Maybe I'll have to buy some standard items as well, but... Eh, I'll probably do that at Belladam Village. So, let's go! Okay, I'm gonna take the short path this time. No reason to get ourselves involved with too many enemies. Yeah, run into this, run into this! Oh, only got one blow out of that. So yes, Sylph is very powerful. We're gonna get more spells later on once we make more packs. But at least we're not so crippled now. But Cress has to do all the work. Min still has a way to go in usefulness in battle, but at least we have somebody else who can be offensive. And that makes me very happy. Okay, I say we should be good to go now. Hmm, I would like to buy some elven boots later on, increase your battle movement speed by 20%. But sadly, it has to be like an active upgrade and not a passive one. If it was passive, that would make me real happy. It would be worth the 4,000 gold. Ooh, treasure! Oh, I can't carry any more of them. Oh, I got an hourglass. Couldn't really care less about an hourglass, though. Run into this, run into this! Oh. How the hell did he avoid damage? Like, seriously, you walked into my blade. It passed over your body. That to me makes no sense. Okay, luckily there is only one way to the tree. But I want to make sure we're not missing any items. Giant bee, did I ever... Get that studied with the magic lens? I don't know, but let me do it just in case. Don't you go using any magic now, Klaus. 
I should really disable it just for the sake of conserving some TP. But then it'll just slow the battles down again. And what if I forget to re-enable it? Then I'll look like a moron. Alright, we're sh we should be done here, so let's make it to the tree. Hmm, this tree is actually up. Is this the great tree, Yggdrasil, that Sylph spoke of? Hmm? What's happening? I know this tree. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Please listen. I need to warn you. I need to warn you that the end is near. The end of what? Well, in the present, this tree was cut down. I am Martel, the tree spirit who dwells within Yggdrasil. The hour of the great tree's death nears. What are you talking about? Mana, the source of all spirits and magic, is born of this tree. Did you not know? What? Really? Could this tree produce enough mana for the entire world? It is true. I find that hard to believe. It defies reason. Perhaps you will believe me once the tree withers and dies. And all spirits and magic are lost for all eternity. I think she's telling the truth. Where we live, 100 years from now, magic doesn't even exist. Plus, I've seen this tree before. But it was dead. Are you positive? If so, then... Yggdrasil can endure for all time as long as it has mana. But without it, the great tree shall wither and die. Mana depletion by magic alone would not normally harm the tree. So then what's the problem? I know not. Perhaps some powerful force is consuming vast amounts of mana. How can we save the tree? There will be no stopping Deos without magic. And all my research will have been in vain. Yeah, I know in the Tales universe it's pronounced Yggdrasil, but in Norse mythology it was pronounced Yggdrasil, so that's why I'm pronouncing it like that. Wait! I still have questions! Solemn silence, with eyes shaped like hyphens. Maybe I could help. Hmm? Yeah, I doubt that's gonna be enough. It didn't work! If only I was as powerful a healer as my mother! It's probably not that simple. But we're gonna change the course of history, aren't we? I mean, it should be possible to defeat Deus! Before he travels to the future! That's true. If we could eliminate whatever is consuming all that mana... Easier said than done. We don't even know what we should do next. Among the spirits I've discovered thus far, Luna is the most powerful. The ring I need to make a pact with her lies in the Morlia mineshaft. At least that's what I've heard. The Morlia mineshaft? The ruins of an ancient dwarven mine located in the kingdom of Alvanista. But that's all I know. Alvanista? I mean, Alvanista! That's right. The Kingdom of Alvanista has the most advanced magic in the world. We should be able to get the information we need there. To get to Alvanista, we should take the ship that departs from the port town of Venezia to the north. Alright, I guess that's our next destination, so in the next episode, I'm going to meet you by Hamel so we can head for Venezia on the way. See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.